Hi Scorpio, welcome back to your channel. It is always a blessing to have you guys here. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning to your channel, I welcome you back with open arms. You know you're a diamond. Please continue to shine bright and beautiful like a diamond. All right, so Scorpio, we're going to get into a pray. Okay, I'm going to get into a quick read also because your girl has not been feeling 100% today. Let's just say I've been having a terrible tummy ache. And right now, I feel very bloated in my stomach. So, I've been drinking tea. What I have in my cup is turmeric, ginger, and vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. So, you guys will see me sipping on this baby. We're not going to do a very long one right now. We're going to do a short one. But we're going to get into a prayer. And pull your messages through, okay? So, go ahead and thumbs up on your, your read for me. All right, my darlings? Let's pray. How many fathers I come before you ask? For your blessings on myself and for my secrets, Heavenly Father, please send the most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so, Scorpio. Just know that this reading is a general reading, not a personal one. Okay? It will or will not or may not resonate to all of you. Please take what does resonate and leave the absolute rest, okay? The roles are always reversing. Keep that in mind. I don't want you to force these reads because it's not meant for you to force. Don't force it. Do not force it. Whatever you do, don't force it, okay? Um, if you are here on your cross watching, the same applies to you guys as well. Same thing. Ain't nothing different. Same thing, okay? Now, if you are interested into having a personal reading with me, personal reading is definitely available on the channel. All you have to do to connect with me is to check in the description of the video. And you'll see exactly how to connect to have a personal reading. Um, a huge thank you to everyone that has sent me donations. Um, super thanks and all that stuff. I see it. I love it. I appreciate it. Trust me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and get you an angel here. Now the angel that will come to Scorpio to assist me with this reading for you guys today um, is the angel that I will share with you. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get this angel through. Right, what's the angel here? And your number placement in line for Scorpio. What is the angel here and the number placement in line here for Scorpio? What is the angel here? All right, so we have the angels of balance. The angels of balance will be the second angel in line, okay? So I thank you, angels of balance, for coming to, to assist me with this reading for Scorpio. We appreciate you. All right, Scarpio, let's see. All right, Angels of Balance, the second angel in line. What is the most important messages, please, for Scarpio? What is it that Scarpio needs to know right now? What is it that Scarpio needs to know right now? What is the messages here for Scarpio? What is it that Scarpio needs to know right now, please? What is it that Scarpio needs to know right now? Tap it into the energy of Scorpio and all those that are attached to Scorpio. What's the message, please, for Scorpio? All right, so Scorpio, I'm seeing the future here. Okay. Um, and then we have power couple. Okay. So I'm seeing the future becoming clear about your vision of the future. Some of you guys are really thinking like, not only just thinking, but I feel like you guys are ready. That there's a Scorpio, you just ready for your, to plan your future here. You just like ready, you like so ready. This could be a job opportunity. This could be, um, you know, love for some of you, but whatever this is, you really are ready to really manifest your life the way that you want to. 
but I really feel like you're either looking for for um some kind of a love here, something that's going to make you fulfilled. Yes, you want the perfect career path, but I also feel like you want to be happy in love. Power couple building an emperor is within reach for you. I feel like if you are single right now, um, or even if you're in a relationship or it's complicated or whatever your status is right now, Scorpio, I really feel like you are ready to build this empire. And I feel like you're ready to build this empire regardless you're in something or not. Um, and I feel like it is in reach. I feel like you're putting all the pieces, Scorpio, of the puzzles together. And I really feel like I'm seeing you happy. I'm seeing you celebrating. I'm seeing you laughing and smiling. So I feel like whatever this, this could be something new that you're, you're doing. Um, you know, you're just ready. I'm seeing you just business attire. You're just ready. You're ready to work, but you're also ready to play. You, you know, you want to be. Um, happy and I feel like happiness is coming. I feel like there's people that's coming towards you here that's on the same level of a certain mentor with you also. Um, but I've also seen love. Okay. All right, let's see. What's the message here for Scarpe? seen abusive emotional or physical abuse all right so this could be whatever you might have been dealing with from the past um yeah whatever whatever hurt or pain that you might have felt scarpio from the past situations i feel like you know it's just said it's time that you let go of that feeling um it could be past relationships um letting go releasing relationships to focus on self period you, you know whatever you might have been holding on to um, whether, you know, you was in it or in it not, or they were, or they were not, I feel like whatever that is, that might be a head hold, you might have held on to for some time. It's time to let that go and let it rest. Okay. I'm seeing a butterfly here for some of you guys. You might've been seeing butterflies all summer long. Um, and for some of you guys, even though the weather is changing, I feel like you're still seeing these butterflies, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the need to say this is a sign from your higher ups here to kind of tell you that you're on the right path. For some of you have been dealing with isolation or whatever, and not really want to interact with anyone too much, or just kind of staying by yourself or just being chilled. I'm feeling like the cycle is kind of ending because I see where you're kind of ready to open up and start something new here, new and happy, new in peace, new in abundance here. Um, and you kind of, kind of sliding around who you feel may cause anything that as far as abusive is concerned. It doesn't really mean physical abuse, but it could be mental one. It could be um, a promissory abuse here um, that you felt like, you know, you had no voice in the situation, but you're let, it's time for you to let go. And this is, I'm really feeling it's time to heal these wounds here. Yeah, especially if it's family related, okay? Um, for some of you guys, you may not have had been dealing with your family, maybe you have family issues here, family creating issues within some connection. All right, so maybe for some of you, you know, you're having a hard time dealing with families or whatever. But I feel like you're also letting go of any pain, anything that may have caused arguments and conflicts within the situation, within that, that part of your life. I'm seeing where you're letting all of that go. You have to, because it's, it's time for growth. I'm, see, I'm seeing the need to grow. Are you growing out of something, okay? Doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, you're you're going to say, okay, I'm going to allow myself to be vulnerable and to be hurt, but you're going to allow yourself to heal and move forward because it's going to bring you a lot of uh, success here, Scorpio, um, and abundance here. I'm seeing where, you know, you may be holding on to a lot of pain here, especially where there's a twin flame connection is, is, is here. This could be someone that you really loved or want to love or want to love you equally. All right, you are in love with a twin flame unit, okay? So this person and you may not be together at this moment for whatever reason. I'm seeing the water, so maybe this person is kind of kind of not there right now. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you may be wasting time here. I'm seeing the clock. 
this person might have been afraid to commit. Whoever this person is here, Scorpio, that person was definitely afraid to commit. All right. Um, I feel like there's a forgiveness that's coming in. This could be you, Scorpio, that's asking for this forgiveness, or this could be this person's asking for this forgiveness. All right. Oh, what's this? This person might have done some things to kind of kind of discourage your vibe where you feel like forgiveness is, is needed. All right, let's see. What is this? All right, so apprehensive, uncertainty about the future. All right, so you definitely have some kind of uncertainty, Scorpio, about the future here. All right, um, this could be because you might have been dealing with very toxic relationships from your past. Um, that's kind of ha having you not moving forward. Maybe you've had a word about getting married or something forever and ever marriage or a long term commitment. Yeah, you're having a hard time either meeting somebody or staying with this with one person that shows you love or whatever this could be um i'm seeing forever and ever marriage or long term so this is what you may need here um but somebody is very apprehensive this could be someone from your past yeah someone just chose to be single here or, or this could be you all right soulmate you are connected with a soul mate in the present okay so I'm seeing there's a present person that you may have a soul tie with. Maybe you're not you're not communicating with this person, but there's definitely someone that you share something special with. All right, let's let's go ahead and clear this up. All right, let me just answer the spirit cards. Please protect me from anything that may come to disrupt the harmony and my secrets for those who are watching and setting the bad intentions back to the standard. Please replace the goddess with the name of God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So it is, so it's done. All right, what is the message here to clarify these messages out for Scorpio, please? Clarify these messages out for Scorpio. Clarify these messages out for Scorpio. Scorpio, so you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. All right, so I really feel like right now you, you're really going through a transition, okay? I feel like this transition is bringing you something new. This could be a new opportunity for a job, um, but I've seen abundance here, so I feel like there's a lot of growth that is coming in. I'm seeing prosperity here also, security and stability. So this could be, if it's not love, trust me, it's money, Okay. I really feel like, you know, you're growing, you're evolving here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands energy. Um, I'm seeing that you're close to your success, all right? I feel like if you are kind of wanting to kind of grow in buying a house or, or, or whatever you're planning on doing, I'm seeing you growing here. Uh, but you definitely have to be persistent for what it is that you are really needing. I do feel like also, though, um, Scorpio, you may have been dealing with, um, feeling very fatigued here. Okay. Um, like you, you're not able to do what you're set out to do. Um, but I feel like that cycle is leaving or slowly leaving because you have been really praying, um, about what it is that you really want as far as your life and goals are concerned with the nine of ones energy. You, uh, people need to tell you that you, you could conquer anything. Um, because you are a winner here and you are definitely a go a goal getter. You might have had loss, but I feel like those loss that you might have suffered, Scorpio, are lessons um that you might have learned from, all right, for what is to come new. Because you do have the ace of pentacles here that um really tells me that there's a new opportunity that is coming and it's going to give you some kind of an abundance here. All right, clarify this piece for Scorpio.
What is the Ace of Pentacles with the Nine of Wands? Oh, where did that go? All right, so you have the Four of Pentacles here. Okay. So I really feel like you have to make sure that you are setting boundaries here, knowing your limits, um, and just not holding on to any grudges here. I really feel like there may be a situation that comes around where you feel like you have to fight for your position or fight for authority, but just don't allow any insecurities to come through. Um, you have an emperor here with the high priestess that's also coming in. So I'm really feeling like you're about to manifest somebody, somebody new in your life. Um, I feel it, really feel like this emperor is somebody that's going to bring you a lot of abundance. So this person is very smart, very spiritually wise. Um, very, I feel like this person has a lot of control. This person may be one person of power or authority. Okay. Um, but you're going to have to use your intuition here with the high priestess spin here. This is a situation where you have to use your, your highest intuition here because there's a lot of hidden knowledge here. Um, this could be on your end or this could be on this emperor's side. But I'm seeing where someone is very intuitive here, um, but you still, again, have to use your intuition here. I'm feeling like, you know, some of you guys may be feeling like, you know, you're connected to a situation that's very mysterious here. Maybe it is. But there's nothing that you cannot conquer. I've seen where you've been through a lot here, um, feeling very defeated at times and dealing with failure, bitterness, and, and betrayal. Um, I do feel like you've been exhausted, um, Scorpio, um, because you have been showing exhaustion lately. Um, but you cannot allow the situation to collapse or taking you down with it. And you're not in the verge of giving up. The Ten of Swords, you're letting this go. This feeling of you kind of going underwater, that cycle is coming to an end here because you are not giving up. I mean, whatever is connected to you wants you to give up, but there's no room for that. All right. What is the Ten of Swords? The Ten of Swords is a strength. Okay. So your strength card came through with the Queen of, the queen of Cups. All right. Um, I feel like you're strong. You're strong. You have courage here. You have confidence. You're beautiful. You're sexy. Uh, you're very attractive or whatever. Um, you have an inner power because you are, in fact, a Scorpio. Um, I really feel like, you know, you do have compassion for what it is that you are yearning for. When you put your energy into things that you love. And when you do, you do it with grace. Um, I feel like, you know, you being a Scorpio, I'm seeing for some of you guys where you could be a healer. For some reason, I'm feeling very intuitive here. But you have to use your intuition more clearer. Um, and just be a very supportive. Because I feel like whatever this new is, this transition that is coming towards you, I really feel like you're going to have to be very, very, very supportive. It doesn't matter if it's a family member that you might have not um, been in communication with for some time. It, it Maybe this could be a love interest that's coming through. It could be a job that's new that's coming through. Just know that you have to do your part as a queen of cups, okay? Which is being very smart, being a healer, using your intuition, okay? And just doing things differently from the way that you normally would do it. Because you are growing and you are evolving into a new creation, okay? All right, so Scarpa, this is going to be your read, honey. Because, baby, your girl is feeling like a fish, a bloated fish. All right, so I'm gonna done. I'm gonna be done with this, um, these reads tonight. Um, I'm just gonna go lay down, y'all. And hopefully this tea who does. Do, hopefully this tea do what it needs to do, which is calming this bad old belly down, and so I could feel a whole lot better. But I will see you guys right back here tomorrow. Uh, I, I'm wondering if I should put these reads up. Yeah, I'm gonna put. You may see this read in the morning. Because by the time my internet make, by the time my internet gets it up, it's gonna be next day anyway. So I and mean, you guys are gonna be sleeping. The Scorpio, you be you y'all be slow on thumbsing up your reads, okay? But anyway, you guys, please go ahead, like, share, and subscribe again if you have not done so already. And if you have not joined the membership, 
membership is available so please go ahead and join the membership you guys it is only a dollar and 25 cents per week so that totals you five dollars each month and you can cancel the membership at any time okay now what the membership does it gives you a little star beside your name when i go live it doesn't matter if I go live for members or not. Now, if I go live for members, you, you're number one because you could ask me any questions, any amount of questions that you want to ask me when I go live for members. And even if I don't go live for members and once I'm on the live, whether I'm doing a Q&A or not, once I see that star beside your name, I will have no choice but to answer your questions that you are asking, okay? So go ahead and join the membership because it does pay off in the long run. And also, if say, let's say you're doing a personal reading with me, you also get a discount on your personal reading. All you have to do is send me a screenshot that you are a member and you'll get your discount on your reading. Then a lot of members do get little gifts and stuff from me. So that's also part of your perks and all this, that, and the third. Okay. So be sure that you are joining the membership, you guys. Okay. So that way you don't miss out. When I go live for you guys, because it does save money if instead of you having a personal reading. Okay, you guys? Just saying. All right, you guys. I love you to the moon and stars. Um, also, if you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know that you need one. All you have to do is do leave your initials down below. If you have a if you want to ask me for a prayer request for a family member or a friend or whoever you want to have a prayer request for, all you have to do is leave their initials down below and the prayer is sent out also come over and subscribe to my channel life with juliana i do post the videos to the community wall when i do post them on the channel come over and subscribe get to know me a little bit better say hello in the comments i would love to have you over there now while i'm doing all of this for you pray for me also as i'm praying for you and with that being said always remember to seek first and you're always fine i will see you guys tomorrow for the next one all right Talk to you later. Ah, oh, this thing is not working.